Hello, Your Royal Highness, and welcome now to Thursday. And as always, thanks for logging in. Well, out of all the signs, I think you're feeling the best. Sunny and cool today for the Leos. The moon is in your sign, and so emotions and ego are working side by side in a very intense way. That moon in Leo is coming off of Mars, and Mars is the aggression vibration of masculinity. It's really pushing for Leos to get their ego out there and really put themselves out there. And today, your heart is behind that initiative, so you are just emotionally hungry to get yourself out there to get it done etc but that doesn't mean you get out of having to do some spiritual work that bonfire going on in your house of ego is squaring the sun okay now the sun is in chapter one of taurus and the sun today is ruled by the moon so our emotions tend to carry us away today our emotions are going to carry us away the lesson though is there is fear between what you want to do in your career and who you want to be in the moment okay so who you want to be in the moment and what you want to do in your career that's there's fear between those two and where the growing is, is the career side, okay? Your heart and your passion is good. You want to go with that flow. Don't burn out anyone on a supernova kind of level, but realize that you've got to eliminate the fear between your ego's desires and your career's desires. And you've got to recognize that it's your career that needs updating. Also, Jupiter. Jupiter, which is the expansion vibration. Wherever you add Jupiter to, things just dilate, okay? Jupiter is heading for Uranus, the breakdown, breakthrough, innovation vibration, okay? The big bad wolf of the solar system. It hops and it puffs. So we're about to have... A big bad wolf turned into Godzilla here in the next 30 days, causing what I call a holy shift, a major paradigm shift. This is very rare in astrology, and it's going to happen to you when it comes to trust and intimacy. So the way you trust now, trust yourself, trust others, including intimacy, the way you can connect sexually to someone, the way you can connect non-sexually to someone. Right now, let's say you're on a 100-watt bulb. I'm telling you that in 30 days, you're going to be on a 400-watt bulb, okay? You're going to need sunglasses to be connected to you. So... I'm just letting you know that old connections, uh, connections that are on, like, uh, on dial-up, that's the best way to put it, are going to start to fall away really quickly here in the next couple of weeks. Anything shallow and not deep is going to fall away from your life in a, in a rapid pace. And I just want to keep that in. I'll keep reminding you of that as we go along. Also, it's Thursday. We have our first episode of Sadiqa Salter's Renegade Aromatherapist for Taurus going live today. Incidentally, Sadiqa is a Leo like you, so pay your fellow royalty some respect. She's also going to prescribe a plant essence that vibrates in the Taurus plane. So for you, this would help you with that career growth. All right? So don't miss it because she's live everywhere Soul Garden is. All right, Leo, that's all I have for Thursday. But I'm back tomorrow with your full weekend forecast. Live, love, be. Soul.